What it do, flight crew? FTC. Flight team stand up. We got fresh and clean, so hot, hot on the crew. New UDY. Will a successful lawyer steal his girl? Check it out. Hey, man, one thing, man. A while back, we rented out this beautiful LA home so that our friend really could lawyer? put hey. Isaiah's girlfriend to the test. Yeah, that looks like we Zane with dress. Lawyer can't take your girl. Lawyer girl. Taylor was truly loyal Anybody to can. Not. Will Taylor be willing to trade Zane for the rich and successful Ben, or will she look past all the money and remain loyal? All right, let's see pass, this. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Don't Guys, know we keep it blunt. That would be the biggest regret of your life. Not something like Brandon Cameron, unless he like on some Denzel type, like the one tier. Don't be crying. Okay, bro. Dang. I hope you guys have your talkies for this video because you guys already know. Wait, wait, why did he just break glass? <laughs> you don't want me to take a girlfriend over here to this piano because I was like seeing some Stevie Wonder and then. Ha! You thought I was going to start playing, huh? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Zay right here. Yep, this is Zay. Zay is here. Have you read over everything that we sent you? You're prepared? You're ready? Yes, yes. I read over all, all the information. You know, I'm ready to go. But don't flirt too hard, though. <laughs> I'm going to stick to the script, bro. I'm sticking to the script. But hey, you know, if, if she cute, though, you know. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Are you about to start? Hey, Taylor. Uh, this is Ben. I'm just calling to see if, you, if you're still going to be getting here. Getting here soon. Yeah. yeah? Okay, sounds good. Well, I'll see you when you get here. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Bye. Isaiah was the one that connected Ben with Taylor. Thanks to Zay, we knew that Taylor was selling her Corolla. Zay sent us the offer up link. Ben messaged her, kept in touch, convinced her to come to him while at the same time building up some credibility, and then really? finally set up a time to check out the car today. Wow. Hey, what do you think is going to happen? Honestly, like, honest opinion. I, bro, like you said, I think because you said that she, you know, y'all been together for a long time, you know, she's been down for you for a while, I think, I don't, I don't think that she'll go for it, bro. I never put her in a, in like, in a situation where another dude have more money than me. That's why I'm kind of like nervous. Oh. Doesn't make me seem like a though that I'm like, I think she might go for it. No, not at all, bro, because I mean, some That's girls real see a certain amount of money and you know, just jump with it. Like, I don't doubt you. I, I was gonna pause it, but he Y'all in love with each other and you know, y'all been together for a long time. Like, I think you should be, I think you should be good. That don't mean you anything. You can be in love for 10 years and a woman touches or gets around someone you know what I'm saying? That has money or more access to more materialistic or, a, you know what I'm saying, a, 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 a lifestyle, certain lifestyle that she's always dreamed of. Like, it'll make them do a couple of things or say no a little bit less often. After connecting you know? onto a so, phone call with Ben so that we could hear what was we'll happening, see. it was finally time for us to get into position. Taylor would be arriving any moment now. Okay. Right, she's calling now. Uh, hello? He said you're here? I think so. Okay, all right. Uh, hold on, let me step outside real quick. Okay, so here we go. All right. Oh, is that you? Um, oh, yeah, hey, yeah, this is me. You can pull into the uh, driveway if you want to. You don't have to park in the street. Okay. Hey, oh, yeah. Taylor had arrived true. and Ben made his way outside to greet her. So far, everything was going as planned. Oh, hey, Taylor? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet yeah. you. Thanks, thanks for coming. One thing, oh, wait, okay, never, never mind. I was going to say it wasn't necessarily a red flag, but I was going to say you, you're you going to meet somebody by yourself to sell a car. Like, you know what I'm saying? That ain't the smartest thing to do, but it seems like, I think this is like her mom with her. Oh. Of course, this is my friend Sophia. Oh, That's friend, okay. Right. Hey, friend. Sophia, nice to meet you as well. Yes, yeah, so this is it. Taylor bringing someone with her should have been something that we anticipated, but didn't. Oh, oh my God. I mean, you well, should have, like, she's a woman. Her friend by yourself. Like a dynamic. Buy yourself yeah, a sell a like car? Someone you don't, you don't know? With her friend there? Yeah. But I think it's kind of like, you know, I think it's still doable. Yeah, I think he has it. Do you guys mind if I pop the hood real quick and, oh, and yeah. we're done with that? Oh, yeah. You got the car professional with you here. Yeah, no, that's yeah, yeah. <laughs> At the end of the day, Taylor's friends being here wasn't really that big of a deal because this was only phase one of this epic gold digger test. Hey, you guys mind doing a, a test drive real quick? I mean, I believe you and everything. I just want to, you know, just. Yeah, let's do it then. You guys doing? Everything pretty good? It's good. It's been, a, it's been a nice day here. 
Where are you guys uh, coming from? Uh, so we have a little break here. Uh, take that off speaker. Okay, so we got a little break here. Okay. So Ben takes the car out for a test drive. I'm over there stressing. supposed to be recorded by this cool spy pen that we ended up buying online. However, we weren't sure how to make that thing work. The pen is recording. I've been on. Yeah, right. That's, that's, just gonna, that's just how it's going to have to work today. Hopefully that pen camera is recording. Because I swear, if it's not recording, I am returning that pen camera and giving that pen camera Wait, a horrible Wait, a pen movie. camera? <laughs> Needless to say, this pen camera was a waste of money and a piece of crap. It didn't record anything. Yes, after all this time, we still freaking have it, and we didn't even give it a bad review. My thinking is, is one day I will figure this sucker out and use it to spy on people Bruh. for these videos, of course. Now, if you guys don't want to be spied on while online, then you needed the help of ExpressVPN, which is today's sponsor. ExpressVPN, if you're not using to worry about your online Lulu, Amazon actually give than what someone sees available to us. Keeping up with the Kardashians on the UK Netflix. Love Island, Australia on computer and tablet. These shows are available for me to watch for as long as I want. ExpressVPN is also super fast, so you don't want to worry about buffering and force myself. ExpressVPN Bro, a 30 minute ad is crazy. been wanting a binge for sponsoring this video. All right. Don't yeah, yo don't don't, don't blackball me. Whatever what that was I mean, was I, I expressed on the bluff. Like, like, I was playing. Guy. I mean, I don't think I don't blame her at all. Eventually, the trio returns from their test drive, and we began to listen in again. And we are back. Beautiful, beautiful. Wow, I really like it. Do you have the um? Do you have the title? The title of the, on the car? I just want to know if uh, the, the car is salvaged. It might be. Oh, it actually might be in the, uh, the twelve box. Ben begins asking Taylor for the vehicle's title, maintenance history, and Carfax report. In real life, these are things you should ask for before you even check out the car. However, our goal was to get Taylor in the house by using these documents. He wants to know if the car is salvaged. Okay. It'll be fine. And I, uh, I've got my laptop in now. I've got, you know, I can look it up on, online. It's, it's 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 completely fine if he doesn't know. Okay, uh, he's on the side. All right. Um. So do you guys want to wait inside? I mean, uh, it's gonna it's gonna take a little bit of time. I don't want to keep you guys waiting out out here. Oh, yeah, you know, that time is kind of cold and stuff. All right. So yeah. Bro. Ben succeeded in bringing the girls inside. It was now time for Taylor to know how. That's a red flag, bro. That's a red flag, my man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, saying two point He gotta be feeling some type of way right now. You know what I'm saying? Yo, girl. Go inside another person, a man's house, bro. Forget even being a man, just another stranger's house. You you just met 10 minutes ago. Like, for the fact that you're that friendly and comfortable, like, it don't even matter if it was another guy. It could have just been some, like, you know what I'm saying, old lady. The fact that you're comfortable, like, I honestly would even, like, look at you way different and just, like, you know what I'm saying, like, kind of, like, you know, like, just the type of person that will, like, you know, uh, to try to withdraw money like you know at a bad area late at night in the atm and then wonder why you know what i'm saying somebody like hit her upside the head and got money or whatever from her i mean you know the environment you even though that's obviously never right but it's just like it's just certain common sense you you feel me you always want to have especially if you're in a a, a significant other relationship you always want to have a part now sometimes everybody is not all the way you know what i'm saying that you know what i'm saying on point ten toes and all that type of stuff that's where you obviously take over and you always look after yourself at the end of the day but bro if you don't have the basic common sense like come on out of all the crazy crimes that have happened in the past or whatever with you know what i'm saying the, uh you know what i'm saying abductions and kidnappings and people going missing like come on man like you're gonna go with somebody especially a man and you are two people deep, you're two women deep. Like y'all setting yourselves up, man, please. Especially this is a uh, message part for my ladies, FTC brothers and sisters out there. Uh, come on, man, make better decisions, especially uh, whatever you're doing, do not. If you just met somebody 10 minutes ago, a stranger, and you have not had any type of real conversation other than just business type, don't go over to the crib. I don't know why we even having this discussion in 2023. Like the fact that you were so comfortable Lucrative with Ben's and your friend should have even said something. That just shows that even your friend, you know what I'm saying, is not even self aware. You know what I'm saying? A street smart, ten toes, whatever you want to call it. Like law degree as you will. Clean this up real quick. On top of giving Taylor a chance to take in the beautiful house, we also wanted to put Ben's photoshopped law degree right in front of her face. Everyone knows that lawyers make bank. I got a degree and bitches, baby. You can't deny me. I'm joking. I'm joking. Yo. I keep telling this guy that you're joking. Oh, so he did that to make it like. Oh, okay. So he could get them to notice. Four years of hard work. It's down the drain. 
Okay. I hope, hopefully, hopefully. Let me just set this here. All right. Well, welcome, guys. Welcome. All right. Let's let's go ahead and head over this way. This Even still, means- it's a red flag. But you know what I'm saying? It's obviously still not a good thing that they just went inside that crib. But you know what I'm saying? You can tell by the body language that they look a little bit like nervous, paranoid. Like, dang, I shouldn't have maybe been so friendly to come inside. Like, we're curious what's going to go on. We don't want we want to be safe. I think my man, her boyfriend's not going to be uh, happy about that part. You know what I'm saying? Is speaking on her part because y'all weirdos on TikTok be clipping this. You know what I'm saying? I'm speaking on her girlfriend's third party. You know what I'm saying? Type of stuff. Uh, yeah, so next try. Y'all not doing that. Make sure y'all put that part in. Yeah, we're not doing that. Benjamin White, and I am an accent attorney. This here is my diploma, and this is my credit. Welcome. Bitch. Yo! <laughs> in the backyard, because I was working there earlier. You guys mind hanging out outside? Okay, cool. Well, do you guys want any drinks? Water, juice, soda, anything like that? You guys are good? Okay. You sure? You sure? You're like, okay. <laughs> okay, so everything so far is going according to plan. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. You guys can go ahead and hang out on this side of the couch here. One, two. Ben prepares to run the Carfax report using the photo that he took of Taylor's VIN number. It's not too cold out here for you guys, is it? Yeah, it's like perfect night. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Dude, it's trying to flex. Oh, thank you, thank you. I just, I just put these lights up right here, you know, just to add a little, you know, ambiance to the backyard. You know? He said ambiance. It's a good time to scale. <laughs> I thought it was ambience. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, this is just take like a, you know, a few minutes. No problem. Yeah, just trying to make sure it hasn't been any accidents, you know, that I don't, that I don't know about, you know. When the time was right, we sent Loris outside to give Ben a call. Oh man, this is yeah, this is an important call. I gotta I gotta take this if you guys don't mind. Me, really check out. Don't Hello, Mr. Viegas? Hey, hey, this is this is Ben. Do you have that do you have that case number for me? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Oh my god. Uh Taylor, do you mind if I use your phone really fast? I mean I gotta call call this guy back to get this, this case number. No, be really no fast. Problem. I'm uh, so sorry about that. My phone is like terrible. I just Ben pretends to be a rich guy who can afford anything except good connection. Of course, this was all in an effort to get a hold of Taylor's phone. You see, like I said, guys, this is only phase one of this test. I know it's already been super elaborate, but this is only the beginning. Taylor's phone was a MacGuffin that would take us into phase number two. Hello, Mr. Villegas. Hey, okay, this is this is Ben. I'm calling I'm calling on a different number. Do you have that case number for me? Okay, wait, wait, hold on one second, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, I'm gonna uh, run inside real quick and just, just write this down. No, I'm just gonna get like, Bro, it's moving just, everywhere. Okay, hold on. Ben continues to make the call seem realistic. All right, thank you very much. I'll uh, I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye. After a couple of minutes, Ben is ready to return Taylor's phone, or so she thinks. Hey, Taylor, what is this? Like an, uh, an iPhone 7 or 5 or something? No, it's an uh, XR. <laughs> Oh, that's an XR. But what is this, like five years old? No, I think it's, it's what I got it like two years ago. Why do you have a crappy phone like this? <laughs> Damn. Oh. Um. <laughs> Damn. I don't, I don't think it's that crappy. No, there's like cracks in Wait, did it change your voice? It's, it's a little crappy, you gotta admit. Just, I, just a little okay, bit. Okay, like, is <laughs> my phone alone? Hey, I hey, think they probably listen, upped the volume or something. Like it just sounds like a different well, person. I think that one compliments me pretty well. So. Oh, no, no, yeah, with the That compliments you? That's what you're saying? What if I what if I were to buy you a new phone? Do you do you want to get a new phone? Why would you buy me a new phone? Because obviously this phone is crappy. You need a new phone, and I can get you a new phone. Do you do you want a new phone? I I mean yeah. yeah. I don't want a new phone. Hey, hey, right, you should get one. What's the catch? But there isn't a catch, really. There, there isn't a catch. Okay, that that definitely makes it sound like there's a catch. <laughs> no, there's, there's there's no. See, catch. like it's. Just, it, Overall, the only big, big red flag about everything is the fact that they were so comfortable going inside a stranger's home that they were there to sell their car to. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't even be in any of this situation. Like, there's a lot of, like, they're, 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 they're very pushover, well, especially, like, the, the, the girl, not the, the Sophia chick, because that's just her friend. Her photos on the one with the hat, the white hat. Okay, so, like... She's coming off very, like, uncomfortable around him, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, when he's just asking about offering to buy the phone, I mean, like, come on. Obviously, you can just ask anybody. Who the heck wouldn't just, like, take a new phone, you know what I'm saying? But obviously, she's asking what the catch is and anything like that. So you can't really say that's really a red flag because that's like someone coming up to you and, you know what I'm saying, hey, you already got a phone. You could probably have, like, three or four. And someone offering you a free iPhone or whatever. Like, what? You know what I'm saying? You can take that. You can sell it, whatever. But it's just, like... Who's not going to tell you? So that, that specific problem, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people like, is that a red? That's really the whole big red flag situation right now. You know what I'm saying? Is the fact that she went inside of a stranger's home. 
You know what I'm saying? It's just not safe. You're not aware of your surroundings. You don't have proper common sense. Like, you know what I'm saying? I already can't, like, you know, I'm already already turned off. You feel me? Like, if someone's like this, you know? Um, but let's see if she's going to get any more red flags on top of the huge one. I don't know you. <laughs> okay, because like I just said, you're a beautiful girl, and a beautiful girl deserves a beautiful girl to go with it, right? And this phone just doesn't match you. I'm, I'm sorry. It doesn't match her, right? Sophia, you, you, you tell her. It doesn't match her. No? I no. guess. <laughs> It doesn't matter. So you just so, get rid of this phone. So, so that's it. I just I get rid of the phone and you give me a new one. Yeah, this one gone. Bye bye. New phone. I, sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> so so you're down, right? You're, you're down to get rid of this phone. Hundred percent. Yeah. I mean. You sure? You, you heard that? You're down to get rid yeah. of this. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> Fatality. You did not. What? You, you said you wanted to get oh rid of it. God. Now you're going to have to buy her as well. Yeah, I will, I will. But you, I, you said you were down to get rid of it, so we just got rid of it. Yeah, I'm going to have to get rid of it. Go. You're going to get a new phone. Like, it's completely fine. Yeah, but you're going to get a first one. Get it out. We're going to put four on the rail, dude. I, 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 I asked, right? I, I, I asked you. You said you were 100% down to get rid of the phone. That's the only way I know to get rid of phones is just to throw them in a pool. Like, there's like 100, there's like 100 phones down there. <laughs> what? Hopefully. She says no. She yeah. has to say no. To all my triggered people out there, no, we did not mess up Taylor's phone. Oh my god, he ruined her phone for a video. No, we didn't. You see, thanks to Zay, we knew that Taylor had an iPhone XR. So we bought Amazon and we bought an iPhone XR dummy phone. Yo, 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 what the heck, bro? Why he say it like that? What effect was that? It is doing the real. Yo. Thing. Yes, it's a dummy phone. It's not a real iPhone, but it looks so good. Oh my god. It does look legit. Okay, keep yeah. that safe. This entire time, Ben has had this dummy phone in his pocket. Ben made the switch when he went into the house to stop. Oh. Oh. Right now, because I need a phone. Yes, I told you I'm gonna need you no phone. I'm not. I'm not a liar. I'm not a liar. No, I can't call an Uber now. Yeah. You're calling me an Uber now. Okay, I, I can go to Uber, Lyft, you know, whatever you need. Like That's I said earlier, Taylor, I think you are a, a beautiful So he pro So, so they're saying that he still like has a phone, but not letting like her know. Do, that maybe he had one of those dummy phones to get on, like, together, uh, eBay. And then maybe, you know, hang out, you know, go on a date after that. You know, if we, if we vibe and stuff. So there's two patches. That's, yeah. that's you're going to throw my phone in the pool, and then I got to go on a date with you. You don't have to. You don't have to. Well, then how am I going to get a phone if I don't go on this phone date? I can just go get you a phone that I have in my house right now. Because I bought one, like I told you earlier, because my phone right now is messed up. I just haven't set it up yet. I'm going to go run in the house and then grab the phone real quick so you can look at it. So think, think about it. Not much to think about. <laughs> so on top of offering to buy Taylor a new iPhone of her choosing, Ben also offered to provide her with a temporary iPhone that she could use for the time being. I'm not going to lie, guys. Looking back at this video, this all seems unnecessarily overly complicated. I'm right. sure it was a much easier way to get Taylor to that Apple store. We were just trying to make Ben look rich. And him giving out iPhones left and right just seems like the right way to go. From the moment I was born, I knew I'd be successful. I went to school, and that's how I got all this money. And I got this house, and I'm about to get this girl. I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah, I'll, Bro. Yeah, I like that. I like that, Sergio. I don't like that at all. Right. This man like right said, here. Here's the 11 Pro Max in green. Like I said, uh, you can just take that phone right now as is, and that'll be it. I mean... You've checked it out. So, uh, so what's up? What's the, what are, what are you, what are you gonna go with? Okay, so if, so if we do the, so if we go, like what? You'll just take me to the Apple Store and buy me a phone. Hundred percent, yeah. Whichever one I want. Whichever one you want, anyone. Okay, but like we're like we're busy. We have to go somewhere right after this. Yeah. Oh, I mean, we don't we don't have to go like today. I mean, we don't have to go today. It could be it could well, be any day you're free. Time. My next day off is Friday, so it'd have to be Friday. Friday it isn't. What's up to you? Nah, bro. All right, you. that's a red flag, bro. Like, she's one of those chicks that give sneaky link vibes, bro. Oh, well, like, I, my only day is off is next Friday, so it'd have to be this Friday. You know, like, bro, second red flag, bro. This guy has to uh, drop her. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I already would have dropped her at number one. The fact you're just going over, especially a guy's house that you just met in 10 minutes through a car selling transaction and everything, and you're with your friend, that's not even, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah. And then second, you know what I'm saying? That would draw up the second red flag. If anybody's noticing, she's low-key dragging everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if she was, it's night, it was daytime when he got here. You know what I'm saying? It's almost midnight. 
You know what I'm saying? So it's just like if you were serious about selling the car and not anything else, you would have been like, hey, okay, take, like you would have cut it off after the phone conversation. Like I need to sell this car. I don't care about what you got to offer. Like this guy at the, uh, in, in the dreads, you know what I'm saying? If he does not drop this girl, bro, this dude is a full on 1,005% simp and you can't do anything, you know what I'm saying, to help him out, bro. This girl, would I would have broke up with her right now. Okay, yeah. So that means we're, we're going on a date on Friday. That's yeah, it. I will let you guys do this come on Friday. We'll be going on a date on Friday. That's a yes or, that's a yes or no question. Yes. Yes, yeah. we will? All right, well, sounds good. Well, let me finish this on my computer first. And just like that, we successfully gave the way into phase number two. Bro, that's I, so sad, bro. Oh, wait, what are you saying? I didn't just hear it. There's no way she said yet. Bro, like, it's just so... Because the crazy thing is, is that, like... She would go through with that date, and then, like, if the guy has any reason or, uh, like, feeling that, like, you're act, she's acting weird, she will take it to the grave, literally, like, with every lie and just everything possibly made up. She's probably already thinking of, like, something to lie in a, in a storyline to come up with everything, so she's able to, like, go, with, go through with something like this. Hey, man. Y'all be safe out there in these relationships 2023, bro. There's no way she said yet. Yeah. I do want to mention one thing. At this point, even though Taylor agreed to go on this date with Ben, I really think she only did it for the iPhone. I mean, she is convinced that this guy just chopped her phone in the pool. Yeah, she's going to say whatever she has to say in order to get a new one. No, bro. It's not that serious. Bro, nah, man. Dude. No. Yes. No. It seems so normal and chill. I don't think he's gonna like me. <laughs> I think he was just trying to show off. Do you think he actually buy whatever phone I wanted? I think so. Ben's gonna ask Taylor on a date again, but in phase number three, which is of course after she got the iPhone and once there was no strings attached. If Taylor still agreed to go on a date with Ben in phase three with no strings attached, then we could say, okay, yeah, maybe she did fail. With phase one complete though, all Ben had to do was make up an excuse to put off on buying Taylor's car. I'm sorry you guys have to drive. No, you know, no, it's fine. Out here no. and stuff. But I mean, hey, you know, there's an upside to it. You know, you're in a new phone now. So. Well, here, like, uh, you can just give me your phone number. Well, yeah, yeah, I can, I can just write here, down. Do you want to just put it in your phone real quick? Yeah, yeah. If anything, I'll. Yeah, easier. Oh, you can use yours. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, nice. What's your number? It's three to three. Surprisingly, in the end, Taylor decided to not take the phone that Ben offered and just wait until Friday. Call mm -hmm. Oh, you're, you're calling me right now. Well, there, like, sure, there, is no, phone, there is no trust in this relationship. You see, look, it's working. Perfect. This is you. Beautiful. Uh, and now we all can contact yeah, each yeah. other. Hello, hello. And we have your address. Right, so. exactly. You know where you, know where, you, you know where I live. I'll come with all the police and yeah. we'll come. Oh, <laughs> okay, man. Right. Well, you guys have a safe The drive third back. thing, like, yeah, bro, like, <laughs> bro, this guy's got to break up with her, bro. Got to, bro. Just red flags being... She's a walking red flag, fam. Like, I just don't even like the way she talks, bro. <laughs> like, even me, me, like, bro. Like, dude, this, dude, that, dude, everything, bro. Like, come on, no bro. traffic or anything I'm like good, that. Bro. Ben officially closes off phase number one. And as you all know, we had a clear... Went inside a stranger's phases, home. But unfortunately, this is as far as this test would go. I'm not a fill. She always said, I can't trust you, I can't do this. You're always around other girls and all, but I've been faithful this whole time. And look what she's doing. Yeah, I'm married enough, man. Zay ended up being pretty upset that Taylor ended up agreeing to go on a date with Ben. Again, personally, to me, she didn't fail yet because I think she only said yes for her. See, this is a type of, right, and, and UDY, look, uh, nothing but respect you guys. You guys make amazing content. Actually, one of my uh, f uh, favorite channels, you know what I'm saying, on YouTube when you guys upload new videos and everything like that. But, bro, there's no way in heck... Please, anybody, do not take no relationship advice from this guy right here, bro. Like, if you have a girlfriend, bro, she's definitely got about four other side dudes, my man. You was too easy to walk over, bro. Like, she, bro, she failed by the minute she walked into this man's house. There is no more of a relationship. If you're able to be that comfortable with a stranger, especially a man, it like to me, it didn't even have to be another. It could have been like an old woman or whatever. You just, you know what I'm saying, was so comfortable with you going inside the house you've never been to or never had any type of real conversation outside of business talk. You know what I'm saying in terms of, and, and them, they were selling the car. So it's like you only having about like, you know what I'm saying, a very minimal conversation. You know what I'm saying? You're not even talking about like when's your birthday and well, I mean obviously the date of birth when they give you the information, but like you're not talking about like things like your favorite color or like the basic things that gets the, the stuff kicking the juices and everything in a relationship, bro. She already failed, bro. She's definitely the type of girl to have you know what I'm saying, sneaky links to oh, um, you know, I'm I'm only off, you know what I'm saying, uh uh Monday, you uh, and, and and like, you know what I'm saying, uh 
he's working this and that. Like, bro, nah, stop it. Come on, my man. Don't don't stare at him wrong, bro. She already failed. Walking red flag. There's nothing else for me to explain. Come, come on. Say something differently. No, come, come on. on. Like, I thought she was there. I, I honestly really did, but she saw the true colors. You really don't think that she only said yeah? Just because of the phone. No. I, I, I haven't been pushed for the whole, so we're going on a date, right? We're going on a date, and she said, yes, though. But, like, do you think she actually meant it? You think she, she, she definitely meant that shit. Like, she's going to get any phone. She's going to have to go on a date with him. Yeah. I just I just don't like the fact how she, she tries to blame everything, like, on me, saying I'm not faithful, I'm doing this and all that stuff. If this was me, I Bro, would Bro, that's literally the sign, and I'm going to show you guys, man, FTC brothers and sisters, and it goes for, you know what I'm saying, on the lady side, too. Bro, if the dude... Or a woman is constantly always like accusing you of like talking to other people or like you doing like some cheating stuff like too often, bro. I'm saying that at least, bro, two to three times a week. That's man, even one time a week is enough, bro. Like if they doing it like honestly, like more than two times a month, bro, in a relationship, bro, you know, bro, hardcore truth, bro, they're doing you two times dirty. Remember that. And, you know, like, real talk, remember that. That's probably the quote, hockey of 2023. They're always going to be doing you two times dirty because it's called self-conscious self-guilt. You know what I'm saying? They feel so guilty, you know what I'm saying, that they're just automatically assuming that you're doing bad. You know what I'm saying? If they're out at night, you know what I'm saying, or, you know, sneaking into the cookie jar, taking delicious boneless cookies, you know what I'm saying, every single night, you feel me, and they smell good and everything, you know, they're eventually going to try and, like, you know, get you to think that you're stealing from the cookie jar, too, because the cookies are so good. And when it's not, you're not even a kid. So it's, like, come on, man. Saying, Hope that made enough sense. This stuff. If this was me, I, I would have never done that. I would have said no, because I know what type of shorty I have, but she obviously don't feel the same. I mean, what matters is how you're interpreting it. Like, how do you, how do you, how do you see it? She must definitely feel. Thank you. She would have passed if she just got the phone that he was giving her, not going on a date. But she said, yes, he's handling he's it pretty well. well. You gotta give it up to him. He's handling it pretty well, bro. I'm not gonna waste my time. At I'm least he know. knows a dropper. She just did. That's over with. Okay. I'm not gonna give her no explanation, no argument. I'm not doing nothing. I'm good off it. So you really don't want to continue the test? No, I'm good. You're good. Yeah, I'm good. You're, you're, you don't want. You're not. You're not trying to go down. No. Nah, I'm good. Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to like disappoint you and everything. No, 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 dude. Like, no, you're fine. You're, Disappointed me? What you mean? I'll I'll talk to her more. Pipe. I'll give her a phone later. Okay. I'll give her a phone later. I'll say what I have to say then, and she can just leave my life after that. But I'm not forgiving this one at all. I forgive her so many times, but this one is crossing cross the line, you know. I don't know if there was other relationship issues in the background going on, or if Zay just saw the writing on the wall. Taylor just saying. Nah, what it sounds like, like, yeah, nah, it, it wouldn't even necessarily relationship issues. He's definitely probably had like. A whole bunch of like red flags that this girl was doing and was trying to ignore the signs because she was being manipulative and being like, oh, well, it's not that big of a deal. Um, you know, you're, you're being insecure. I, be, I guarantee you she says that's her favorite word, fam. I guarantee you this is her favorite word, insecure, probably. And she's probably going to say that once he, you know what I'm saying, uh, gets towards like the end or whatever. We know how they had the like arguments or whatever. Or or they they, 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 they throw everything that they see in the their POV on the video. And he has every right to be upset. If he so, wants to end it, we'll end it. I mean, we don't even have to post this if you don't want us to post this. You me. Sir, you never Damn, it wasn't even about the post. It. We really like respect him and stuff, you know? Nah, I'll, I'll almost definitely talk to her about it like later, so later okay. on tonight. We don't blame Zay for backing out. Again, he probably just saw the writing on the wall. Oh, and he saw it as an inevitable fail. So, Zay, just to confirm, this is what you want? Yeah, that's what I want, man. Cool. To punk out. That's what you want. <laughs> no, he's not. Like I said, man, I'm not a punk, bro. You're, you're punking out, bro. I'm not, I'm not a punk. Bro. I'm just saying, I'm, bro, you see me shaking right now, bro? Yeah, hey, what are you shaking for? I bro, you I'm, I'm angry, bro. Bro, it's okay, bro. Like, it's gonna be all good. Bro, I'm just gonna talk to her on my own, bro. You serious? I'm so serious. Bro, you know what? What is this guy's energy talking about right now, bro? He's coming off of just like passive aggressive cocky and like he has something against them, bro. And this is crazy because obviously they're both in on it. But just imagine just like the outside world, bro. It's always like a woman. These guys literally could probably be like the bestest homies and friends potentially. But it's just like it's crazy how much power, you know what I'm saying, sometimes a woman can have. Like these guys are ready. Like if this guy says one more slick joke. The man in the dress is ready to crash out, bro. I'm thinking now. I'm thinking maybe Zay didn't want to continue because of Ben. Maybe Ben. Bro, no, I ain't gonna lie. His inner, this guy's, his name is Ben. His energy, man, is a little bit too like 
bro, I understand and I get it, but he's he's the type of like dude like if you have in your circle and he he just does not know when to stop joking, bro, until someone just reached that snapping point. With all the jokes he was saying, so he didn't want to see Ben bro. succeed. <laughs> it's all good. You don't have to even feel, you know, we can put in the sand, you know. Like I said, but no, don't cry. You should honestly stop talking to me. Bro, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I don't think you're gonna say I'm just saying don't cry, bro. I don't know why you're still talking to me, bro. It'll be bad, okay? It's not my fault, bro. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. He, okay, and the thing know. is, he's facts. He's he's 100% right. But you're egging it on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you didn't have to say all that stuff. The last word he said was facts. That's all he literally, he could have walked in the room, and that's all he had to say to Zane 2.0. I honestly don't know the dude in the dress name. I'm just calling him that for the rest of the video. But, bro, like, he literally was dragging on and saying a lot of more unnecessary stuff, bro. Like, he was low-key saying, like, you know what I'm saying? Some, like, dollar general type of fighting words. Like, not all the way type of strap words, but borderline, like, bro, like, what's really good? Like, so, Yo, you know, like... Thoughts. Did Zay back out because of internal relationship issues? Did he back out because Ben got to him? Or did he back out because Taylor might not have been serious about going on a date with Ben, but she still entertained the idea, thus leading him to think Bro, it's a red flash she went inside another man's crib, and bro, also, let me know your guys thoughts There's nothing else video. to explain. Because, fun fact, we shot this in I would have been dropped there, even if... Even even if, if with her uh, accepting the quote unquote date and she tried to like mention in there like, oh, I'm going to call like cops or whatever, this and that um, because of the, uh, the the phone and make sure I get my phone or whatever. I would have been cut it off after the first red flag. Like, come on, man. Like, you're just not aware of your surroundings. You're too friendly. Again, I'm we good. Were like, huh, maybe you guys might enjoy these videos. Oh, this is 4K. I'm hella late. Oh, well. Are you like mad, bro? Are you mad? Like, it's... It's okay to be mad, bro. Just admit that you're mad. Like, just admit that you're mad. Bro, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that at all, bro. Like, how, how would you feel if that was your girl? Look, I would feel bad, too. But you put yourself in a situation. So you knew what could have happened, bro. You, you knew stuff like this, bro. So you should have just already prepared yourself and then be ready to go, ready to execute the plan. But, oh, no. See, you I wouldn't sit up here, see, nah, I was, you know, singing rhythm I wasn't moves. prepared. I wasn't prepared at all because, again, I wasn't expecting that to happen, bro. I was expecting to, you know, say no. Right, so, bro, I thought she was right, right, bro. But I see what it is, bro. Hey, look, whatever you do, right. Heck, no. I feel like you're trying to be funny. Now. I'm trying. I'm looking out for you. That's what I've been doing all day. I'm here for you. He's right. You want me to go? I'm not repeating myself. So you want me to go? Yeah. But wait, there's one more thing. Though. Or don't cry. <laughs> I'm bad. It's a. Control. Bro, nah, <laughs> man. <laughs> hey, I would have stormed up out of that thing, man. See, he's going through some stuff. Here. Oh, they cut it out! Oh, they didn't even show it. Hey, I mean, I guess it makes it more authentic, though, too, because it's just like that's how you know it was really real. So, whoever buddy was in the dress, Zane 2. AK Zane 2.0. You better have cut that girl off. You better have dropped. You better have broke up with her. You better be having about like two, three, maybe four different wives in rotation, bro. Because there's no hope in that whatsoever. Dang, that's the first UDY. I seen it get cut off. I wanted to see what happens. Dang, you know something crazy happened that they can't show it on the tube, bro. Oh, man. I mean, it, there's a lot of good, like, you know what I'm saying, advice that was definitely spat and good, like, you know what I'm saying, words and everything. So, hey, man, SC Brothers, man.